Hey, what is going on, all my fellow godlies and Warframe enthusiasts around the world? I'm Vance from Warframe God Builds, and Octavius Anthem dropped today, and it's not good. I shouldn't say that it's it's bad, but from what I've played, I don't like anything. Of course, I didn't like anything to begin with for personal reasons. Aesthetically, I hate the way Octavia looks. A, a deluxe skin for her couldn't come soon enough because she looks like complete and utter garbage. She looks like an inbred transformer from a Michael Bay movie. But that's my personal opinion. You probably won't agree with that, but if you do, then hey, we're in the same boat. Um, also, in regards to everything that just transpired with Frostinator and D.E. Danielle, I'm really, really against D.E. Danielle. Like, I... She's not my most favorite person in the world. And granted, she did the goofy-ass fucking dancing that I'm going to see a whole bunch of Tenno doing from this point onward. I'm just not happy about it. I'm not happy about D.E. Daniel, and I'm not happy about the stances because they look like fucking fruitcakes. To be honest with you, it looks like a bunch of fucking hippies trying to do some freaky, stupid shit in it. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that uh, I've been annoying the shit out of myself recently because I have to I have to video edit. And when I do that, I watch my videos that I put up on YouTube about a good 100 times before they're posted. And even then, I still miss a lot of mistakes that I make. But I digress. Uh, I've begun to annoy myself with how aggressive and um, complaining I've, I've been. I'm not stating that I was wrong to do so. I had every right to say everything that I said, and I offer no apologies for it. Uh, I'm also receiving a lot of subscribers because I get ag aggressive. So I don't want to disappoint the people who are tuned in because I'm aggressive, but I do need to tone it down because... A, I want to be taken seriously by Digital Extremes, and B, because I'm just beginning to annoy the shit out of myself. And I want to try to be optimistic about the game, because I love it, and I, I want it to succeed. So, I haven't even completely gotten through the quest yet. I'm about midway through. I, I only chose to stop and record commentary, because A, I'm not going to have the time to do it this weekend, and B, the servers are really shit right now. Um, they're just really bad. But the main thing that I wanted to cover is the Limbo rework because, aside from my personal opinion, that is absolute trash. Immediately I tried to do the, the sortie mission for Assassinate, which was just ridiculous today. It was the one where you had to uh, fight like Krill, and it started out really, really high leveled, and you got overwhelmed with mobs that just wouldn't fucking die. Their armor was just crazy, and um, that's where I got to stress test my limbo build on the rework, and I found so many flaws. I'm not gonna get aggressive and and just chew them out for trashing limbo, which is ultimately what they did, because they chose to fix problems that like they chose to fix things that just weren't broke. For instance, uh, banishing an enemy. Now you can only banish an enemy if you're on the same plane as them. It's fucking dumb. I'm getting aggressive again, I'm sorry. But there is some potential in what they've done. I do like how you enter and exit the void now. That is a much needed change because a lot of players, including myself, were complaining that basically the Riftwalk and Banish were ultimately the same power. So it's nice to see this change because it's very quick, it's dynamic, um, no other frame has anything like it, it doesn't cost any energy, you can stay in the void forever. But they tr the problem is, is I already know what they, what they did. They tried to balance this by making it so you can only banish enemies while on the same plane as them. And it's not needed. It's really not needed. They're trying so hard to balance things, and it's not fucking needed. It's, all it's doing is breaking things that would otherwise be amazing if they just leave it alone. The biggest issue with Limbo back in the day 
when they first nerfed him is the fact that they made it so he couldn't do objectives anymore because of the raid. They made it so he couldn't hack terminals and, and shit like that. Well, while I was playing, um, they actually locked me out and I had to hack a console. And it let me do that while I was in the void. Who knows, they might be fixing that as we speak. Because that might not be intentional. But I think that if they did let us uh, do objectives while we were in the void, then it would be a step in the right direction. And if they are going to leave that the, that way, then they need to not ever touch it again. Like, seriously, leave Limbo alone. Um, the next issue I have is with the stasis. I like the way stasis sounds on paper. But then when you actually apply it, um, the only issue with it is the fact that you can't see enemies' life bar change when you shoot them. And that's somewhat of a problem, especially during the assassination mission, because I, I couldn't tell if I was killing anything. And I, I just wish that their life bars would remain in real time while their bodies are locked in animation, because it would be highly helpful if I could actually see the damage that I was doing or if I had even killed the enemy. That way I don't prematurely press the power again, relinquishing them from their hold and getting myself killed. Because that's ultimately what happened. I was getting fucking shit fucked. Not because of my skill level and not because of my builds, but because mechanically Limbo just doesn't function the way he should. Popping in and out of the void, having to pop out and get yourself vulnerable for even a millisecond is enough time for you to get hit by a high level arson eximus and one shotted because limbo squishy so they need to fix it to where you can banish enemy regardless of the plane of existence you're on and they need to fix it to where the life bars are in real time when enemies are locked in stasis um, other than that there's not a whole lot of issues I see with limbo He's right next door to perfection, so I do have to give credit where credit is due for the rework. It, it did address a lot of different things that needed addressed, but at the same rate, they still left, and I know that they purposely left a problem in existence, and that is the fucking cataclysm not letting your teammates pick up loot. Now listen to me when I say this. There is a definition. There is a word that they use to describe this, this issue. It's called griefing. Some people try to troll other people in Warframe by casting Cataclysm on loot and not letting them get it. But if you're trying to be an optimal Limbo player who contributes to the team and helps them succeed, then the problem with the Cataclysm is, is that you're going to unintentionally grief a lot of players. And it's going to cause a lot of tension. And my suggestion to this is to make the Cataclysm not affect your teammates. I understand that you want to balance Limbo, but there's nobody on the other side complaining about Limbo. There's nobody who's being victimized by Limbo, okay? So if you're going to balance Limbo, do it right and let players pick up ammo and loot regardless of rather they're banished or if they're in the Cataclysm, make it unaffected by team members. But, on the flip side, if you're a Limbo player, and you're in the Cataclysm, or you're in Riftwalk, and you can't pick up ammo, that's totally fine. Because, you know, I get the concept of him having to move in and out of the, the Void. Uh, you shouldn't be spending too much time on either plane. But it's still an issue. It's been an issue, and they blatantly refuse to resolve that issue, but it needs resolved. If you're going to do a Limbo rework, do it right. So, but, you know, this is, this is my thoughts, and ultimately it doesn't matter. Digital Extremes is going to do what they want to do. They've made it very clear that uh, it's their way or no way. Which is why the, the gas plus stealth multiplier went, because some fucking inbred reject had to come in and say that it's broken and it doesn't work the way that it was intended. And and then Digital Extremes is like, oh, that's right, you want a nerf? Okay, we'll, we'll be more than happy to give you a nerf. 
Now there was a different um, update that came with uh, fixes for different weapons, and I'm really impartial to all of them really. I'm so glad that the Simulator got a nerf. This is probably one of the only nerfs that um, I favor because I'm just utterly sick and tired of seeing mirages with simulators. People need, if you're a mirage player and you're using a simulator, um, smack yourself. Just smack yourself as hard as you can. Because the simulator, the cyanoid simulator, while it may have been in game viable back in the day, uh, by the time that I did the Ember God builds, it, it was trash. Absolutely trash. One of the worst weapons in the entire game. It cannot do it in-game level threats at all. I just can't do it. No matter what type of Warframe you use it with, it's it's unviable. And now it may be viable, so kudos to Warframe and Digital Extremes for uh, balancing Simular. Kudos to them for touching up on older weapons and making them somewhat usable now. Um, I often shame them a whole lot more than I give them credit. And uh, there are some good updates that get pushed through. Usually I don't talk about it if it's a good update, but um, the weapons were good. I, th I think overall the addition of Octavia and her quest is alright, except for the fact that it's single player. What the fuck is up with these quests being single player? This is a four player cooperative game, it's a team based game, under no circumstances should quests ever be single player. But this is, this is really all I know about uh, the update so far, um, all that I've played so far. I'm sure that I'll have more input about it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bitch about it. It's, it is what it is, Warframe's going in the direction that it's going, and I just hope that they release Excalibur Umbra so far. So if you have been watching up until this point specifically for the Limbo status, then uh, you can click off the video now, because at this point I'm just gonna address all the people who have subscribed to me and have followed me for a long time. So if you're on the Facebook fan page, you would have known that uh, I started up a motion, or I was going to start a motion comic series called The Ada Cursed. Um, before I did the motion comic series, back between God Build Season 2 and Season 3, I was going to do Ada Cursed through video game captures uh, using Black Desert. And that just didn't work out, uh, really, because there's a variety of issues with Black Desert. Um, I'm probably going to end up going back to it to play test it to see if it's a viable candidate at this point in time. I'm, I might even go to Skyrim, I have no idea. But I've stopped the motion comic series, I've completely quit it, um, because I just, I can't. I, ju I just can't do it. Uh, it's primarily because of this problem right here. I suffer from depression, irritability, and it's been kicking my ass. It, it, I f it's very hard to work, just wake up and be motivated to work as, as hard as it would require for me to work on a motion comic series. So I, I may end up doing just a normal comic book. I may end up capturing footage in game. I may end up doing 3D. I'm looking into it. I'm not giving up. Uh, I'm just giving up on the method of execution for now. Instead, I'm going to be doing a web series called Captain Galaxy. And that is to do with Rainbow Six gameplay. Actually, it's more of like a hybrid playthrough um, story. It's, it's both kind of like a potential origin story for the character Captain Galaxy and a playthrough. So you're going to have to go into this open-minded because it's it's 50% one thing and 50% the other. And I think that that would be a, a, a good way to kind of like introduce a character and get people familiar with him that way by the time he ends up in the actual full-fledged series you'll have some recognition of who he is to the series. Uh, I've been doing some unique things with it that I can't really tell you about. Um, it's part of the surprise. But I am building towards that. I haven't given up on the Ada Curse that I'm still going to do that. I just wanted to update you guys because I don't ever do that via video. I only ever talk on the Facebook fan page. So if you're not on the Facebook fan page, I do suggest um, making a Facebook specifically for our page because that's where all the, the, the details for what I'm doing next and how I'm doing that's where I release all that detail. 
I don't really pay attention to Twitter. I stopped doing Twitch, but I will start doing Twitch again. I can't disclose the information for that yet because that is also a surprise. Somewhat a surprise. Um, my Patreon will be up. Uh, I'll be moving out of New York also. There's, a, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and I haven't given up. I, my activity on YouTube has declined specifically because of this issue, like I said. Um, depression is just kicking my ass, and I'm trying to power through it. I'm trying to remain um, vigilant and fight it through, the, through to the bitter end. So um, I'm, do, I'm doing as much as I can right now, having to deal with real life and uh, stress and just everything that goes into being alive. But I wanted to give you guys an update because uh, you guys have been awesome to me. You know, I get like 80% support and then 20% hatred. I don't even think I don't even think the the 20% is accurate. I think it's probably less than that. You guys, uh, you guys are awesome. So I'm still working on the Eight Accursed series. I don't know how I'm gonna tell the story. I don't know if it's what I what I really want to do is stop motion animation. But I I can't afford like I. In order for me to do that, I need to get my Patreon up and running, and it needs to make enough money that I can actually go out and buy um, different figure models, paint over them, and and do all the necessary prop work to do stop motion animation because that's where my my love is. I did stop animation before on my first YouTube page, and I loved it. I, absolutely loved it it's something that I would never quit it would it would be something that I wouldn't even need motivation for if I woke up and I was really depressed for whatever the reason I would still want to do that because I love it so much whereas my art I just do it on the side it's not something that I do uh, as a hobby it's only something that I do when I'm bored I'm really good at it but I will only really do it when I'm bored and speaking of which I may end up doing a Warframe concept art series where I do um, concept art for the Exidium universe, but it's inspired by Warframe designs. They're gonna be like characters that are kind of cross between Warframe. It's gonna be like an Exidium Warframe thing. I may end up doing that too because I I do I still need to make money off of YouTube. I I still need to do that. It's a reality, you know. I have to I have to eat. Um. And I'm just not a I'm just not a money grubbing type of person. I'm not a very greedy person, but I I do have to do some projects that will earn me some reputation and some views. So, and, but at the same time, I want to produce quality content that everyone can enjoy. I'm an artist of different variations, and I'd like to exercise all my different talents. If, if I do end up pursuing 3D animation, it probably won't be for a while. Um, I can't see myself doing a comic series or even a motion comic series because it just requires so much work. And with me having the attention span of a goat and battling with depression, I don't see it happening anytime soon. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to keep trying to do web series to build up to the Eight Accursed. Um... You know, maybe maybe I might go back to Skyrim. Maybe I might go back to Black Desert. Maybe I might actually do the motion comic series. I don't know. It's it's up in the air. Um, so if you want to be involved in that, the absolute best way to do that is go to the Facebook fan page. So if you like this video and you found it to be informative, or whatever your opinion is on it, you know, always make sure to do as I always encourage you to do by commenting, sharing, subscribing. And until next time, this has been Vance signing off. Peace.